This lesson is on exponential regression, a fairly important topic in 30 Pure. Now the, the nature of uh, regression of any type is that you're really taking data that you've plotted, specifically bivariate, which is just two variable data, and when you've got the data actually plotted but no equation to go with it, using regression, and in this case exponential reg regression, we can come up with an equation for it. So this is useful like in any sort of lab setting I suppose where you're recording data and you're trying to determine whether first off there is an equation that links the data and then following that getting an equation to represent the data and then using it to predict other things. It's calculator based. The method, the non-calculator based ones are, are really time consuming. So everything you do is, is uh, based on calculator operations. So I will show you how we do that and uh, starting with an example. So the calculator will determine the equation that best corresponds to the data. Okay. So let's um, take a look at this data. There's a very small sample size for this. X is equal to um, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and then the corresponding y value. So there's no application for this. Quite often there will be one, but in this case, no, just the data. A few simple points. Now we don't have anything to go on with this. We don't know what the relationship is between x and y, and we do not have an equation that we could use to figure out what y is equal to, say, when x is 6 or 10 or something like that. So that's where the regression comes in. So we want to sketch a scatter plot of the data above and then determine an exponential regression equation to represent it and then round all values to the nearest one thousandths. That would be three decimal places. So I will bring up the graphing calculator and then let's take a look at it. So we turn on our calculators. So we're on. And to do this operation, we go into the stat menu, which is right in the middle of the calculator, right there. And in the stat, this is where we enter our data in our lists. Now we've got to be a bit careful because if we do have things in our lists, we have to clear them. So um, let's do that right now and to clear the lists some of you will know this already I'm just gonna not leave the stat I'm gonna go into the memory which is second function plus and then by either selecting four or taking the cursor down to four we can clear all lists and then everything is gone that we would have entered into our calculator press enter to do so so after you do one question you will need to clear your lists and then go back into stat and edit is where we want to be and you'll see that the choices are edit, sort, clear lists, we can actually clear lists there too if we need to but I'm going to go right into edit and put the data in and so for L1, list 1, which is really just acting like our x variable we put in all the x numbers, x is 1 press enter, x is 3, press enter x is 5, press enter, 7, press enter, and 9, press enter. Use your arrow to take you over to list 2 and enter in the x values, 2.03, enter, 7.12, enter, 15.25, enter, 24.96, enter and then 46.18 and press enter. Make sure you've got it entered properly that you've got the same number of, of Y coordinates that is L2 as you do X which is L1. And when you get to this point we now need to plot this information. And if you were to plot this, this is our scatter plot, if you press graph you're probably not going to get anything simply because the window scale isn't going to match what we have. That's one of the reasons. There's another one too. So we have to do a few things first. Normally your calculator will graph equations only, so we have to tell it to graph individual points. So we go into the stat plot, which is right above the y equal, 
and we press second function y equal which is stat plot and this turns on our plot and you'll see that currently plot one is off in fact they're all off so what I do is I select one to go into plot one now we don't have to do that one but that's a convenient one so I select one or I just press enter and it gives us a choice we can first off turn the plots on which is what we want to do so because that cursor is flashing over on if you press enter then we turn the plots on we also select the type of graph that we get and we have a choice I'm gonna stick with what I have which is just scatter plot you see you have like a histogram and some other graphing things but this is a good one just the data the X list should be L1 and the Y list should be L2 and then we can choose the mark that we want and I'm I'm satisfied with the mark but we could change it to whichever other ones simply by moving the cursor over to those ones but you'd have to actually move the cursor through um, down to there and then move it over if you wanted to but I as I said I'll keep I'm pretty happy with that so once we have the plot turned on and we're satisfied with the type we press enter and um, then we are okay if you press graph now you get a little bit of a graph because it's only plotting the points that it can see in that window screen so as before we need to set our window and you can go into the window and manually do it or there's a neat little feature in the zoom menu so select zoom and go down past all these zoom decimal square standard trig integer until you get to zoom stat which is number nine and this will automatically set up a window setting that works for us so I press enter and now we just get the first quadrant and we get our individual plots so we have in fact now got a scatter plot drawn and um, it appears to be exponential now if this was the sort of course where you had to make a decision between what type of equation you were looking for like is this exponential is this quadratic there are methods for it but we're mostly just going to do these ones a little bit of trig regression later on so I'm satisfied that this is an exponential regression or an exponential function in front of us and I will proceed on the basis that it looks exponential enough so we need to get the equation done so we go back to the stat menu so press stat and go over to calculate so take the arrow over one to calculate and we have a wide range of values one variable stats two variable stats etc like that and we're not going to use those ones but if you look scroll down you'll see you have linear regression this is quadratic regression which you could use I'm not going to cubic quartic regression I'm gonna go all the way to I get to exponential which is zero so you could either press zero or you could take it there and press enter won't matter now if you just pressed enter now you will get the answer because your calculator will automatically do the L1 and the L2 for you but I'm going to be um, I'm gonna actually specify which lists to uh, to to draw from or to calculate from so I go second function and L1 is right on the one key and you'll see that that comes up then so I'm telling my calculator to come up with a regression equation with L1 as the X and then I press comma and I go second function 2 which is L2 so I'm saying do those two lists I put another comma up and I'm going to now tell the calculator once it's calculated reg the regression equation to copy that into the y equal editor so to do it I press VARS right there and I'm going to go after the variable y1 so I move my arrow to the y variables where the selection is function parametric polar on off I want it to be on function so I press enter and there we have a list of the y possible y's and we might as well go with y1 so I'll press enter and it should now look like this exponential regression list one list two 
copy into Y1. If we didn't copy it into Y1, we wouldn't be allowed to use, we wouldn't be able to use any of the trace features or anything like that because all that would happen is we would have the plotted points. So this gives us a little bit more flexibility. And if I press graph, I will see, um, well actually, uh, I will see the points plotted. To get the equation then, I press enter. And it works a little bit. And then it gives us this, exponential regression, which is a form, y is equal to a times b to the exponent of x. Our a value, that is our vertical stretch factor, or if you like, our starting point, is 1.8464 to four to three decimals, eight one point eight four six, and then B would be one point four five five. Now if you press graph, you will see not only do you get those points, which we had before, but we do get the equation um, graphed. So you'll notice it doesn't go through all the points because it's just an approximation, the best fit approximation for those data points. As well, if we press y equal, you'll see that the equation there in all its decimal is given. But it's there, so that means we can use the trace and all the other stuff. So let's um, take a look at that. I'll write the answer out and then add some more onto this question. So the exponential regression equation in form y is equal to a times b to the x is going to be y is equal to 1.846 times 1.455 to the exponent of x. Not really nice numbers, but if we do this properly, we won't have to do much hand rounding. Now the next question attached to this, using the regression equation, determine the value of y when x is equal to 6, and then round your answer to the nearest 1,000, so three decimal points and I'll bring up the calculator again for this one. So we have this in our y equal editor. Now the problem is, if we, if we tried to work it out now by using the trace or the value key, it wouldn't work until we turn the plots off. So we have to turn plots off. And stat plot, if you go second function y equal again, we're here. And this allows us to turn on or off any of the plots. And if you go down to number 4, or just press 4, it will turn the plots off. And press Enter, and it's done. And then if you go back into your Y equal, you'll see that all we have is just the equation, and the plot 1 is no longer highlighted. And then if we were to graph it, we get just the line and not the points. Now as soon as we turn those plots on again, we can see the points if we wanted them. But remember, really, the points were there to help us to get the line. This is more important. And we want to find the value of y when x is equal to 6. So I press trace, and it gives me x is 5, and y is that. But I press x is equal to 6. So I just press 6, and then it reads it, x equals 6. And if you press enter now, give it a few seconds, not even that, it will come up with the corresponding value, value of y based on that equation. So y is equal to 17.53569. So 17.536 to three decimal points. And that will always work. That's the, the regression method. So I'll put the calculator away for a short time and let's finish this one up. So, um, we would then get y is equal to 17.536. So that's the method. You could use the same method for trig regression or any of the other ones, but exponential is the main one we will concentrate on, although later on we'll go back to the trig ones, which work basically the same. But remember to clear your lists before you start the question, then remember to enter the data into your lists, and go after the regression, select the right regression feature and let the calculator do the work for you. Thank you for your time.